It's currently like 10.30 at night and I wasn't expecting for me to actually record, but I wanted to show you guys this. A lot of my brushes are actually pretty... Long story short, I don't take care of my brushes as I probably should. But I recently bought this brush cleaner and preserver to sort of see if it'll help me restore the quality of my brushes because not only do a lot of them have um, small amounts of like dried oil paint, I also have a lot of them that still have uh, the varnish that I used to varnish my paintings. I would use the same brushes and I didn't really clean a lot of them super well and so a lot of them like stiffened with the varnish on them and so with the mixture of both varnish and dried up oil paint a lot of my brushes are not in the best condition right now but I wanted to test out this and so I actually did that with a few of my brushes and the, this thing worked really well. These brushes are in very good condition. 10 times better than they were before I used this cleaner. Quote, the master's brush cleaner and preserver. 100% recommend if you guys need to clean your brushes or you're bad at cleaning your brushes or maintaining your brushes like me, definitely check out this product because it is really good. These are the ones I need to clean. And they've been sort of sitting here in a cup of hot water. And what I'm gonna do now is just take out a few of them. And some of these aren't that bad and some of them are pretty bad. For example, this one was pretty hard to clean. I had to like do multiple instances of going through the cleaner in order for it to get to the point where it is now where I would say it's pretty good. Um, after you let these soak in warm water, without rinsing them off, you take them out, sit them down, or that's what I'm doing at least, and you just simply work this into, into the cleaner. Make sure like it coats all the bristles like that. And one sign that you can tell that this, this this is working is that you can see some color is actually coming out of it immediately when you start working the cleaner into the brush. Like the color will be on this. Might not be noticeable on camera, but it's definitely noticeable in person. Um, I would say that there's a good amount on it right now. And I think the best results are made when you just let the cleaner sit on the brushes. And so what I'm gonna do now is just do that with every single one of these brushes right here. Some of these will probably need more time and more cleaner. So I'll do multiple instances where I coat it, let it sit, then rinse it off a bit, then put more, and then repeat that process. But some of these are probably gonna be easily cleaned with maybe one or two cycles of cleaning. Okay, so I got the ball lathered up now, and I think I'm gonna wait maybe like 15 minutes before rinsing them out. That's sort of an arbitrary number that I just made up on the spot, but I think that's that'll be enough time for the magic cleaner to do its work. So I'm gonna let that happen. So it's actually been about like 20 minutes, but we're gonna see how much of these are now clean. This one is definitely good to go. I would not be surprised if a few of these might need another round of lathering, but 
I think they are gonna be good because this thing, this this cleaner definitely works. It's also good. This brush right here might do good with another round of cleaning, so I'm gonna leave it here. I would say these brushes right here probably need one or two more maybe just one more clean. All these other brushes were in mid to pretty bad condition. And right now I would say they're all restored to a very, very good quality um, when it comes to like what I personally like with these brushes, uh, the level of quality to paint with. So I'm really glad that I got this right here and I'm gonna be continuing to use it um, even though I should be taking care of my brushes in a way so I don't have to use it. But when it comes to like any residue that I might um, have on these brushes that I might miss or, you know, it, it'll happen, honestly. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is that this is a good cleaner. If I remember, I will put a link in the description or maybe in the comment section for you guys to check out. Definitely check it out. I bought it on Amazon, so I'll probably try to share an Amazon link for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna let these brushes dry. I'm gonna do these um, once again. But that's gonna be the end of today's video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you check out some of my other work and subscribe for more videos, cause I'm on a roll. <laughs> See you in the next one.